do you want to see how I got this image from this um, color to this color this gorgeous melanin let's get into it my name is Yemi welcome to my channel in this video I'll be adding some melanin to the subject that we you're currently seeing I've done my edit my frequency separation and other adjustments prior to this so that's what is grouped below and now I have merged visible so that I can have one layer that I can apply all my melanin adjustments to so the first thing we're going to do is to go to adjustment layer and click on selective color for this one I'll be adding some cyan to my red would also be adding some or reducing the black a little and also adding some magenta just like a little bit of that so as you're making these adjustments you see what you want basically and adjust accordingly i'm also going to go into my yellow and add some cyan just to you know affect the yellow part of the face there and then increase the yellow as well so that it kind of matches <laughs> and after this you can close this one and go and click on the adjustment layers again and go to hsl for this one i'm going to go to the red I'm going to reduce the lumin is it luminosity <laughs> basically make it lighter that's how i see it and also the saturation as well i'm going to break that bring that down a bit and this is what we currently have so you can adjust accordingly according to the kind of image you have next is the black and white layer and for this one we're going to change the mode to multiply you can see the melanin just hit <laughs> so i'm going to increase that to i mean reduce the opacity by about 50 percent i think i later adjusted this to 60. so this is what it looks like at 100 and then i'm going to take that down to about 50 or 60 adjust according to your image to be honest if this person was much lighter i'll do i'll go higher next thing is the color balance i'm going to add in some blue to my shadows i'm also going to add it to my mid-tones just a little bit of blue we don't want it to be too bluish so take note of that once that's done i'll reduce the opacity again that's the good thing about the opacity when you feel like you've gone overboard you can always come back and take it down and the next one we're going to do is the brightness and contrast now you can see the image has gotten a little darker so i'm going to increase the contrast a bit so that there's like a difference between the highlights and shadows and i'm also going to increase my brightness take this down to about 30 40 depending on what you want but i think i stuck around 30 for this one now we've done pretty much all the adjustments now i'm just going through everything and adjusting the opacity of the different layers just you know trying to get them to look the way i wanted to get my vision basically so you just adjust the opacities at different points to see what color works best for you for that particular image i went back to my black and white and made that 60 like i said earlier i made it 60 so it to be more dark oh it's a bit darker <laughs> more dark so it's a bit darker so when that's done i went to my brightness i adjusted that as well took that about 30 or 31 you can add more brightness to be honest it's really up to you whether you don't want to be want it to be too bright because now it starts to like remove the melanin that you're trying to add and then for my black and white layer i went to increase the yellow and the red as well oh let's say increase some way it feels like you're making it lighter i think that's what it is but i don't know it's up to you i think making it lighter is what it is in red and in the black and white layer i can see the before and after this is pretty much what it looks like this is where we're coming from and this is where we're at and i think it looks gorgeous next thing we're going to do is to group so take all the layers using the shift key hold down from the top to bottom of the adjustment you just did and then ctrl g to group once you've grouped that you can name it whatever you want i named my melanin color just for it to house all the adjustments i did to add some melanin then i duplicated it you can right click to duplicate or you ctrl j 
and I created a mask. I turned off the bottom one. I just used that as a backup basically. So that's up to you. I created a mask by clicking that button at the bottom and I went on to grab my white because when you create a mask, you're going to have white there. So I grab, grab my black color rather. I made it black the foreground and I took the, I cleaned off the adjustment from the eyes and it gave it this effect that I wanted. It kind of looked like she has like, um, what would you call them? Uh, contact lens yeah it looks like she has like gray contact lens on and I liked the effect that it gives so I kept it so you can decide to not do this or do this you can leave the adjustment on the eyes and if you have like makeup like heavy makeup say the lips were red for example and the adjustments have affected the lips and changed the color you can go ahead and clean off with your brush clean off the adjustment from the lips just make sure your opacity and your flow are high enough for that. So this is pretty much the adjustments. Um, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comment section and I'll answer to the best of my ability. That's it for, for me from, <laughs> that's it for me for, for today. Like that's it from me for today. Uh, see you guys in another video. Enjoy the rest of your time on YouTube.